stuffer video. I am just going to jump right into this because I don't want the intro too long. So I got my bag of goodies from Target, of course. Everything is pretty much from the Target dollar spot. I don't like to go too overboard for their stockings just because they do get Santa gifts as well. I like to keep it small, so everything is pretty much a dollar to three dollars. Yeah, so I am just going to get started. If you guys are new to our channel, we have three kids. We have a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a six-month-old. Weston, we don't have anything for Weston right now. He's pretty much going to be getting puffs and um, pouches. So um, we have to go to the store and get that. Still, Austin is not getting too much in his stocking just because he is only six months. Yeah, I'm just going to get started. Okay, the first things that we got are coloring books. We got a Paw Patrol and we got a Shopkins. Kids love to color. Noah just got into coloring like a couple months ago, but he's really enjoying it now. So he got the Paw Patrol. She got a Shopkins. These were a dollar in the Target dollar spot. If you guys are wondering, all of this stuff is still there. So if you see anything, go pick it up at your local Target. I'm sure they'll slip switch around and they'll use each other's coloring books, but that's okay. Coloring books, great stocking stuffer. The next thing that we got is slippers. So we got an Elsa for Miss Maya, and then of course a Mickey Mouse slipper for Noah. I'm pretty sure that they got slippers last year in their stockings too, but $3 in the um, Target dollar spot. The next thing that we got is some candy cane candies. We always get the kids these candy cane candies. As I'm looking at these, I'm pretty sure we might return them because these are like legit little like round balls and I don't trust my kids yet to eat these kind of candy. I thought these were the candy cane M&Ms. I'm pretty sure we got these all out of the dollar section so be careful when picking up your candy cane candies because I would not recommend this for a toddler. We might, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to return these to get the M&M ones but um, we always put candy in their stock. We don't put too much candy. This is pretty much the only candy that they get. But we like to put it in there. It's a special treat. It's Christmas, obviously. You need some type of candy. So each got one. Obviously, Weston's not going to get one because he can't eat candy. Hi, buddy. He woke up and started reaching for his bears. Oh, my gosh. That's so cute. Hi, buddy. Good morning. Did you have a good nappy? Yeah. <laughs> It's like, okay, back to my beer. Okay, the next thing that we got are these stamp sets. So we got a Mickey and Minnie Mouse one, and then we got a Disney princess one. I don't think my kids have ever done stamps before. We just never, like, thought of doing it. I'm sure Maya has, um, I'm sure Maya has that preschool, but I know Noah hasn't. So they're going to have a ton of fun with these. These were only a dollar. And the Target dollar spot, they had a bunch of different kinds, I think. I'm not sure. But we picked up the Mickey and Minnie Mouse and the Disney Princess one. And they are going to go ballistic. I remember loving stamps as a child. Next thing that we picked up for the kids are these sticker books. These were a dollar as well. And we have a Trolls and we have a Paw Patrol. And they also have like the puffy stickers in there. These are perfect for like their craft times. I just have to make sure that Maya does not bring these upstairs because then she will put it all over her furniture. <laughs> so um, we'll have to make sure she keeps these downstairs. I might let her decorate her little nightstand because she's already gone to town with Barbie and Clifford on that nightstand. I don't need her putting stickers anywhere else. I love these for stockings. They're cheap, they're simple, and the kids, what kid doesn't love stickers? I mean, every kid loves stickers. The next thing that we got is for Noah, and it's just this little train. I'm pretty sure this came from the dollar section. I'm not sure. I think Gage picked this up. So I don't know if he got it in the toys or the dollar section, but Noah loves trains, he loves cars, um, so yeah, this will go perfect on his little train table. Cute little train for his stocking. And then Maya got one extra stocking stuffer, and that's okay, I'm sure Noah won't even notice. She really, really wanted a Hatchimal. If you ask her what she wanted for Christmas, she really wanted Hatchimals and LOL surprise dolls, balls, whatever. And those can get very, very pricey, and we were on a budget. She picked up this little Hatchimals collectible blind bag. She is going to love this. She loves watching the blind bags on YouTube. This was not in the dollar section. This was just where, like, all your other little blind bags are in the toys. So got a little hairbrush. How cute is this, you guys? It says mermaid hair 
don't care. She is obsessed, obsessed with mermaids, and so I thought it'd be cute for her to have her own little mermaid hairbrush. She's always using my hairbrush. We have a hairbrush downstairs. I do her hair downstairs, but like after bath and everything like that, we brush it upstairs, and she always uses my brush. So now she will have her own brush upstairs, and she's going to love, love, love it. You guys see the, like the little scales? Like how cute is that? That is everything that we got our kids for their stockings. I like to keep it um, on the smaller and cheaper side. We don't want to go too overboard. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe. I will leave the link down below, or just hit the little button down below. I don't know where it is down there, but. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. To this video, a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. All our social media will also be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will talk to you in our next video. Bye.